Especially morning. the morning. Yes. Get started. Most important meal of the day. All right, as part of our continuing focus on education, a look at a school with a lesson plan that goes beyond just the ABCs. Its goal is not just to teach academics, but also life skills. Karen has the story. All right, thanks, Lauren. Well, what the Quakers really value is values. That's what's really important to them. I mean, achievement, of course, is important, but what they really want to have is a kind kid, a really empathetic kid, a citizen of the world that's dedicated to making this planet a better place for everybody. $5. So you charged $5 for this. Natalie, how much, how much money do you have left in your wallet now? $150. It's play money. Thanks, Sebastian. But a real life lesson. Welcome to the second grade economy. Kids apply for jobs, they pay rent, and then they decide where their hard-earned dollars are going to go. I'm going to try to spend it on purposeful things. She really did say purposeful. This is a Quaker school, and character is the most important thing. All the children here will master academics. It's the social curriculum which sets Friends Haverford apart. I think teaching kids how to be a citizen in the world and in their own community is really important. To care for other people, to be kind to people, really what seem like basic qualities, those are things that I really care about. Yes. So raise your hand if you're going to be in the library today, if you're saving your money. This is Ms. Reniger's class. One, two, children three. can purchase items from the art store or the toy store, or they can save some money by using the free library, just like in real life. But they are also taught that money is power, and there is a responsibility of stewardship. So far, they've raised more than $100 of real money for clean water, and Emma is collecting for Smile Train. This is donations for Smile Train. It's $250 of surgery. What is that? Quaker education is faith-based. The emphasis is on values and integrity. Where every human being in the room is seen as having access to that of divine, to, to that of what is right and what is wrong, and to being able to share messages that will improve the lives of everyone going forward. Everything is about improving life for the community. Take, for instance, even the jobs. There's a class environmentalist in charge of taking out the compost, and this little girl is an expert on peer mediation. I'm a peacemaker who helps people solve problems for dollars. If these children seem well-adjusted and happy, it's because they are. This conceptual learning is vaulting these young minds well ahead of peers on standardized testing. What we look toward is a real kind of intellectual engagement uh, that our students should leave Friends School Haverford capable of being curious. And what an admirable goal. Of course, Quaker schools really, really need places, those small class sizes, parental involvement as well. Not inexpensive to get all of that. Of course, it's going to run for a second grader. So for those kids, about $20,000. Lauren. All right, well, in some of those cases, there are scholarships. But when you compare it to the public school students, it seems like there's a big discrepancy, Karen. Okay, sorry, we lost a little audio on Karen there. Good report, though. And we're going to bring in John Valeris now. Always yes, I'm right here. like to talk about education, and it's important for our students. Absolutely. I mean, the, the price you pay, that's mm -hmm. tough. You know, in this economy, it's, it's tough to come up with those kind of funds unless you're doing mm -hmm. very well. But uh, if you are able to do that, I mean, education is the key example. to the future. It's a great example. So I know you teach that to school. your daughter. Yes, I do. I teach her patience and uh, um, learning and reading books. And to bundle and, up in this weather.